This week on The Cone, I am going to tell you about the five things you should know about America's favorite dog breed, the Labrador Retriever. Let's get into it. And now, the vet who gets really excited when someone new comes to visit, Dr. Andy Rourke. Today, we're talking about the most popular dog breed in America for 10 plus years running, the Labrador Retriever. Let's break down what you need to know. These guys are everywhere. The American Kennel Club or AKC registers over 100,000 Labrador Retrievers every year. And you think about the small percentage of people who actually register their labs with the AKC. You've got people who don't register them, which is probably the majority of us. You've got other kennel clubs like the United Kennel Club. My, my point with this is just these guys are wildly popular. They're the iPhone of dogs. They're amazing. Their popularity comes from a lot of different places. I mean, Labradors are ridiculously versatile. They can do everything from holding down a couch to serving as a guide dog to literally bomb detection. These guys have it all. They're big, but not too big. I mean, they're that, that perfect big-ish size. They're generally, depending on the sex, 60 to 80 pounds. They're good with kids, especially older kids, and they love to be rowdy. They may be a little bit high energy for itty bitty kids, and it's just something to be aware of. But overall, this is a great family dog. Maintenance. Labs are wash and wear dogs. They're super easy to maintain. There's really only two things that I call out for lab owners. The first is if you brush them out once a week, you'll get a lot less shedding and their coat will look good. Simple, easy to do, real quick, and they love it. And the second thing is that you have got to exercise these guys. They are high energy play dogs and they need to get worked out. They love to run and play and romp around. And guys, they were made to swim. So if you can hook that up, they will love you for it. It'll keep their mind and body sound. I just gotta be totally honest with you. The vast majority of Labrador retrievers that I see in medical practice are overweight. They tend to get that way for two reasons, and it's a real problem. The first reason they tend to be overweight is that they can lead a sedentary lifestyle. These dogs were made to sit in a duck blind, and so they can hold down a couch with the absolute best of them. They need to be burning those calories off and working out. Guys, I, I, I got a family, I got little kids, I know how it is. It's hard to make time to exercise a dog regularly. I, I totally get it. This is something we need to prioritize if we're gonna have a Labrador and just fit it into our schedule because man, it's important. The second reason that Labradors struggle with weight is because they love to eat. I mean, they love to eat. They also have these wonderful, warm, loving, expressive eyes that just speak directly to your soul and tell you they need to have a bite of what you're eating. They are ridiculously persuasive, I get it. There's no question about why this is the most common conversation I have to have with pet owners. Their lab weighs too much. Generally, Labrador Retrievers are really healthy dogs. It's part of their popularity. We look for common standard orthopedic issues you would expect like elbow dysplasia, shoulder dysplasia, hip dysplasia. We also look for uh, kneecaps that pop out or, or luxating patellas. Those are all things to keep an eye on and be aware of. There's really one big orthopedic problem that I really want to focus on and call out, and that's torn cranial cruciate ligaments, or CCLs. The CCL is the dog version of the ACL, and Labrador Retrievers are prone to tearing this ligament. It is a terrible injury. It is a injury that often requires surgery to fix. It is crazy expensive. It is a real problem, and I don't want you to have to deal with this. So I wanna speak directly to the lab owners right now and say your best defense against this is keeping that dog thin. The most common knee injury that I see are an overweight Labrador retrievers who have uh, laid around on the couch and just lived the good life. And then they got to go to the lake for the first time this year and they just run like wild beasts unchained. And they have the best time ever until they land the wrong way and they blow out their knee. This is a weekend warrior injury. And once your dog tears his or her cranial cruciate ligament in one leg, there's a 60% chance that he or she will tear the other one. You don't want any 
part of this. So stay on the diet, keep up the exercise, and talk to your vet if you need a good weight loss diet to help out. Finally, the medical condition that Labrador Retrievers are known for beyond any other breed is dietary indiscretion or trash mouth. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, what? That's not a medical condition. Au contraire. I have personally seen a Labrador Retriever who ate a dozen golf balls. You would think that he would eat one and think, this doesn't taste good or normal, but you would be wrong. He ate one and then he ate 11 more. I counted them on x-ray and then I had to go in surgically and take them out. This type of behavior is not uncommon. Labradors are known for eating things out of the trash or things that they find that can make them sick. They especially love things that smell like their owner. So think about socks and underwear. Those are favorites. If you have little kids, especially kids that wear bibs or get food all over their clothes, those clothes get eaten a lot. You've got to keep an eye out and make sure that your Labrador is not eating anything toxic or anything that might get halfway through the digestive tract and get stuck. This is a real problem. We can tackle it though. Constant vigilance, latching trash cans. We can do this people, I believe. And that is our show. Thanks for letting me share my love of this breed with you and talk about how to keep these guys and gals healthy. If you have a lab, I'd love to know a little bit about your buddy. So just talk about it in the comments and that would make my day. Until next time, let's be the people that our pets deserve.